Amazon accepting cryptocurrency? Hello guys, welcome to Stacking Stocks and thank you all for tuning in today. As always, we bring you more exciting and enlightening content. In one of our previous sessions, we talked about the best penny stocks to buy right now in the crypto markets. Our last stream delved into the war of elites in the crypto markets, and we specifically talked about Tesla's change of heart concerning the acceptance of Bitcoin as a means of payment. Well, as you may have noticed, the investment wars are neither over, nor do they seem to end anytime soon. So today, our concern is the recent speculations concerning Amazon's interest in expanding its cryptocurrencies. Is it true that Amazon is considering accepting Bitcoin? Are there beneficial opportunities for Amazon if they would consider? What would be the impacts of this transition? Well, I urge you to continue watching the video for more insights. Now, if you don't mind, let's get started. Recently, an outrageous debate has sparked the crypto markets concerning the speculation that Amazon is planning to accept cryptocurrencies. This is just a few weeks after Tesla announced their plan to start accepting Bitcoin for payments. These rumors went viral in almost every newspaper and magazine. For instance, the insider claimed that Amazon plans to fully accept Bitcoin by the end of the year before integrating to Ethereum, then Cardano. Is this even real? Why now? Could it be because other large companies are also considering accepting Bitcoin? Well, Amazon refuted this allegation, arguing that the speculations were false, even though they could cause a significant flow into the crypto market value. One would probably ask, what exactly would cause such public outrage? Well, a few days ago, Amazon had advertised a vacancy on its payment acceptance team. The post read that Amazon was hiring an experienced product leader to develop Amazon's digital currency and blockchain strategy and product roadmap. The advertisement saw a swift rise in the price of Bitcoin by almost 25% by Friday last week, from $32,306 to $40,275. Now that's a representation of an increase in Bitcoin price of over $40,000 for the first time in a while. This seems to be an obvious move considering that Amazon is one of the elites in the crypto markets. Despite Amazon's denial of the speculations, the announcement signals that the largest retailer in the world has eyes on the crypto markets. Amazon's acceptance of cryptocurrency could significantly develop in the general financial world, especially the digital class. Most people today in the world, especially in America, do own Bitcoin. Despite the data, financial transactions using digital currencies are still young. For instance, Forrester Research revealed that only 3% of Bitcoin owners used Bitcoin to make transactions in 2020, which represented a slight improvement from the 2% in the past two years. This, however, indicates the existence of room for further improvement and could motivate a company such as Amazon to invest in cryptocurrencies. The London newspaper City AM argues that Amazon is beyond the exploration stage and that this is a full-on, well-discussed, integral part of the future mechanism of how Amazon will work. Now let's dig deep into today's primary question. Why wouldn't Amazon expand its cryptocurrency margins? The company already owns a significant amount of Bitcoin, but there are other stocks such as Ethereum. Currently, the cryptocurrency market has over $1.55 trillion in digital currencies that could be invested. This is more than enough to entice a large company such as Amazon. I mean, we've evidenced the same scenario with other companies, Tesla and SpaceX to name a few. Richard Krohn, a payment consultant of Krohn Consulting, states that Amazon sees more than $1 trillion burning a hole in people's pockets. According to him, Amazon could almost instantly make this venture redeemable, something that he can't do with commodities or stocks. Additionally, the data from BitPay indicates that the users of cryptocurrency spend more than those who use credit cards or debit cards. Being that BitPay processes more than 100,000 in different cryptocurrencies, its data could reliably indicate the investment opportunities that Amazon could invest in. Now, given the contemporary times, could Amazon's adoption of cryptocurrency be a step up? They have a myriad of reasons to start accepting cryptocurrency as one of the accepted modes of transaction. Amazon's business construction is such that it is diverse and wide in terms of both the products they deal in and geographical area in which their business operations cover. Could cryptocurrency aid in bridging the shortcomings of traditional transactions? 
This has been done before, so Amazon wouldn't be the first large company to consider the same. Other large companies have proven that the adoption of cryptocurrency will be successful as they pioneer a new age. For instance, Microsoft has over the years since 2014 accepted cryptocurrency as a mode of payment for games, apps, and other digital content. The list is endless with the likes of PayPal, Starbucks, and Home Depot and others accepting cryptocurrency. This could be enough evidence that venturing significantly into cryptocurrencies would not be that bad. So why not Amazon then? The pros of transitioning over to crypto definitely outweigh the cons. A transition would mean that one's transactions are made easier as it will reduce the amount of transaction fees that you have to pay. Right now, clients end up paying a lot in commissions, brokerage fees, and other things when transacting. Trading in crypto removes the intermediary from the equation and thus the client is able to deal directly with the seller, Amazon in this case. It also goes without saying that the transaction fees, if any, are cheaper in the case of cryptocurrency. The use of digital transactions enhances confidentiality of transactions. Who would like to have all their transactions in public record? Most of us wouldn't. This is the reality for credit, debit, and cash transactions. But for cryptocurrency, all transactions are unique to the customer. There's ample protection of user data and financial history. Most large companies would probably prefer this kind of confidentiality, and Amazon is not any exception. Now, over the years, credit and debit card transactions have been subject to hacks resulting in serious losses of consumers' hard-earned money, not to mention their personal data. If Amazon is looking to eliminate any possibilities of such things happening, then it's highly recommended to switch to crypto transactions as they are heavily encrypted, reducing if not eliminating the probability of hackers from meddling with the transaction. In the same way, Amazon's operations are international. With the introduction of cryptocurrency, it will facilitate international trade due to its person-to-person -person transaction mechanism and it doesn't involve brokerage or an intermediary in that case. The transactions also are not subject to currency fluctuations from country to country in light of international conversion rates. So consequently, others have argued that the acceptance of bitcoins would not be a very good idea. These proponents argue that this would lead to the increase in transaction rates such that the total expenses of purchasing an item from Amazon would be more expensive than they've always been. Who would go for a laptop expensively at Amazon when they could actually get it from other platforms at a cheaper price? I'm guessing no one would want to do that. Finally, most large firms have not always liked the idea of regulation, even though most countries are now considering the application of stricter crypto regulation. Crypto regulation is not such a bad thing after all when one looks at the bigger picture. Proper regulation facilitates the confidence of the users in the company and this would help Amazon a great deal. In the end, excessive regulations may drive away investors and users. No wonder most people are waiting to see what kind of regulations are going to come into play. Well, this leaves us with the option of sitting back to wait for the final show. And keep following the debate on Amazon's acceptance of Bitcoin. I'll be sure to keep you posted and updated. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Until next time.